great no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin <laughs> and she walks around like, argh, it's the angry pirate. No, no, That's no. what she was he trying said, to say. A violent Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Patrice O'Neill destroys feminist. Let's go. So, next up on the chopping block, XM Satellite Radio DJs Opie and Anthony. They're under fire now for airing joking comments about raping Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Will they be the next to go? Is radio cleaning house after the Imus okay. wow. debacle? With me now, New City President, now New City President, Sonia Osario. She took part in a recent protest calling for radio stations to stop. Stop. You can see Patrick's laughing already. It looks like he's ready to say some crazy stuff. I can't wait for this. Let's go. Stop supporting negative language in music and talk radio. And also our favorite stand-up comic, Patrice O'Neill. Oh, thank you, sir. Patrice, uh, are ONA next? I hope not. I hope JV, I wish JV and Elvis didn't lose their job or Imus. It's funny. This is the thing. I, I, have, I don't know her, but I'm, a, I'm assuming that she has nothing to do with funny. So I'm gonna speak as the expert on funny. Funny people should just be left to trying to be funny. What if, what if they're not funny? Then you made a mistake. But how many? Listen, how many times has an unfunny? How many f unfunny rape jokes lead to rape? Like I don't know how many jokes about rape there are. There's a lot. But your your world is not funny. Your world is uh, <laughs> next <laughs> next on the big story. <laughs> My world is people trying to be funny. Well, I mean, you you think it's okay to try to make jokes about rape? I'm diabetic. I make fun of that. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to comedy, if you go into a comedy show, oh yeah, or you listen to a comedian, that's what they do. Like, if I go to a comedy show, I should be ready for whatever they say. Unless they physically punch me, then obviously that's taking the next level. It's comedy. It's there to make you laugh. You know, we go to a comedy show and we're feeling down, you know, having the worst days, you know, having the worst time. And these people, it's their job to make you laugh. What they say is not real. Once you start realizing that, you start enjoying it more. That's what I feel like. I'm probably wrong. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go. I'm a victim. I might lose a toe. <laughs> but I'm trying to make fun of I'm trying to make fun of anything I, I think I can make fun of. Sonia? You know, what's happening now is the marketplace okay. is deciding what's appropriate or what's not appropriate. It's, I think the nation is just tired. There's a new mood in the nation. What nation? The nation, you know what? We're tired of things that is are just the nation, this paper, and you? I'm, I'm, the, I'm not the nation. I'm just speaking for me and funny. You're speaking for the nation or are you speaking for... Yeah, you know why? Because I remember six years ago doing uh, something against Anthony Openey because they were just so outrageous and their violent images to that you. they put... So I'm guessing Anthony and... Uh, is it Opie? Anthony and Opie? Yeah, it's like a show. And they say something crazy. Uh, they made some jokes, some our jokes. I don't say the word. YouTube might block me for something. But yeah, they made some jokes and then people are going off. Actually, I'm more, I'm more surprised that this happened back then. Because back then, people were pff, saying anything. I remember I did a, did a Rodney Dangerfield uh, reaction. But that was more of the 80s, 70s. People were so open to this kind of stuff. I feel like it was late 90s, early 2000s is when people start, you know... <sighs> Started feeling like, oh my God, be careful what you say now. But back in the day, it was so normal. It was so normal. You know, people like Richard Pryor would just out of any time of their life. They couldn't try it today, obviously. But yeah, let's go. Put out to women was just uncalled for. And now, now, I think people... You think they were trying to be funny? I think now, people... In Do this you think they were trying to be are funny? Tired. You know what? I don't care if they're trying to be funny. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Why something? are you in that business? I've been to your show once, and it wasn't very funny being a woman. It was in your hilarious. Show, when you talked about. That's why she doesn't like me. I was in the paper with her, and the joke is hilarious called The Angry Pirate. And the lady who wrote it in, in her outrage didn't even know what it meant. And anybody who read it laughed because they know what funny. You're not living in the context of funny. You're living All in the context guys of have, fire. They have every right to be as funny as they want. They can go out and try to be as funny as they want, make as much funny, make as much money being as funny as they want. This is what's happening. There is a change in this country. People are realizing they it's have an opportunity to speak out. And advertisers are listening. You're Radio not stations talking. You're are not listening. talking. You, Sonia, you're not talking and, to who I talk to. And you're to. not going to get paid as much money anymore. Sonia and Patrice, That's look at this. That's what it is. The marketplace More is... I feel like it's simple. If you don't like that kind of joke, just don't, don't watch it. Don't listen to it. If, if you feel like the show, that's what they do. Don't watch it, because I'm sure the audience that watches it, that's why they watch it. 
it's like watching Family Guy. If I'm watching Family Guy, I'm watching Family Guy because I want to hear some crazy stuff. You know, that's why I watch it. Or South Park, I only watch that. I would actually, I, I didn't start watching South Park. I've seen some little sketches, some little reactions and it's unbelievable. Yeah, that's what it's about. It's about comedy. It's, it's meant to be funny. It's meant to be crazy. That's why you have rated, you know, 15, 18, you know, PG, whatever you know, call it. Let's go, man. CBS Speaking. Radio Fire Inch. They've been on the, they've been on a tear lately. All right. Are they cleaning house or is this the PC cops run amok? You know what it is, John. You know what it is while you're reading that paper. It's the PC cops run amok. Do well, you think Who's she's a PC, a PC cop? cop? Of course she is. She's mm -hmm. she has an entire encyclopedia of, of her stance on it, but it's no passion involved. It's not a real this is just what she has to say. We are outraged and oh, fired oh, and fired an and fired. Name calling. I'm a outraged. Fool. I am I'm, outraged. You should, be. you should be outraged. I am a fool. Now, if I called you a fool, ah! You know what? People are feeling a new sense of entitlement. Who are these to people in this country? Who are the people? A new How can sense you, of entitlement. Patricia, so here's, to what, here's my question How can you justify a bad joke, a joke that isn't funny? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead. An attempt that isn't funny, doesn't get any laughs, and is about raping a the first black woman to ever become the Secretary of State well, of the United States. Throw that at me. Well, why the, not? The, the attempt is what I'm trying to fight for. The joke may or may funny jokes and unfunny jokes are, are come out of the same birth. That you you don't know if anything is going to be funny. You should attempt don't to be you, able to make anything don't you funny. Don't think a joke about rape is doomed to be not funny? It's possible, but I've heard them. I've heard You've them. heard a funny rape joke? Uh, I say a couple. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, Patrice, well, Patrice says that if you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you Wrong. Hit, her in the, hit her in the head just the right no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin, and she walks around like, argh, it's the angry pirate. No, no, That's what she was he trying said, to say. a violent act of hitting her in the back of her head, her body. It's called the donkey up, punch. Which will then... Why are you laughing? <laughs> She's outraged. It's called the donkey punch. It's whole humor that she has no she clue has what it is. You have the same problem that Opie and Anthony does. You can't say just anything on the air. You can say anything you want. It might not be funny. You might get in trouble for it, but you should be able to be attempting. And plus, when is a crazy bum going to get an opportunity to rape the president? If the, the president's wife, John? It why was trying it? to be funny. All right, Patrice, why aren't I hearing Al Sharpton oh, complain about this thing involving Congress? Because it wasn't involving uh, young uh, black women. Well, it was involving a very prominent black woman. Well, where was she during, during young black... Everybody has their agenda. I was there. I was there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, excuse me. You but know why I'm... am I not hearing from Sharpton? Because it doesn't concern him. It's not concerning him. It's black. It's, you know, come on now. You know, Al, ha Al Sharpton has his agenda, and it was perfect for Al. Young black women. And now she's representing just women in general. She's not representing the nappy hoe part. She's well, representing the, just the hoe. The nappy headed part, she has nothing to do with. Just the hoe. Sonia? You know what? Women have been abused publicly in the media for too long and people are tired of it this has been a beautiful response of just the general public saying to advertisers we're your consumers we don't want to have to avoid everything in the street we don't want to have to worry about what radio station we turn on and there is some really derogatory violent you're going to thing get to all deal your with. information uh, ma'am is second hand from someone making you uh, aware that someone may have said something that you should be upset about. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. Your constituency, the, the people you represent aren't all victims I in this matter. Go. Patricia O'Neill, thank you very much. Sonia Osorio, thanks to both of you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Time for. I feel like if we start going through this rabbit hole, we'd never have comedy because everyone can't be offended over anything. You know what I mean? At this stage, you, you just can't. You just have to let them do it. That, that, that's their job. If you don't like it, like if I listen to a comic now, and I feel like, wow, that was crazy. I just don't listen to him next time. Listen to him or her next time. There's no, you know, if you don't like it, move on. But just don't cancel someone just because you personally don't like what they do. But yeah, that was so weird. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of agree with uh, Patrice O'Neill there. I don't think, you know, if it's comedy, let, just let it be. It's called comedy for a reason. If you like that, like it, comment down below. Subscribe, share it, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.